Okay. All right. Looks like we're live. Hello, everyone. Good evening. And welcome back. The Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask. Perfect timing to jump in here. Hey, Bates. Welcome. You got here before I did. It happens. It happens. I try not to be one of those streamers that is uh, constantly late for some streams, but you know, it happens once in a while, I suppose. All right. <clears throat> All right. We have an owl save. I forget why. Why we have an owl save. But we have an owl save. Uh, in which case... Let's jump straight to... Stuff. Oh, jeez. That's right. It's, uh... Mm, yeah. Hmm. Do I want to... Start the day over? What do I have? What's my stuff? I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I can just start the day over. Oh, no, no. That's right. That's right. That's right. We're delivering the letter to Cafe. We're going to do that before we... Um, yeah, we're going to do that. Finish this part up. Before we move on to Woodfall Temple. We are going to do Woodfall Temple tonight. I want to save enough time to make sure we actually get the whole thing done. Um, oops. From the button. I'm real fast. Never mind. Okay. I forget, does it matter which uh, mailbox to stop it in? And which time? Stop on, stock up on bombs before we're going to do it fall? I mean, yes. I do use the blast mask for almost everything, so I'm pretty efficient with bombs. Um... Yeah, so I gotta meet Angie's boyfriend, uh, which will be the next day. And I know I can't finish the quest, but I could get the, what, the All Night Mask? Or something. Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just put the... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it. Uh, last I remember, uh, I was told to put deposit mail here. Uh, to put this, oops, wrong button. Um, there. there you go. The letter has been received. Good shame. It shall be delivered tomorrow. You sent the letter. This was added to your notebook. Okay. Let's see. And that's under cafe, right? No, it's not. It's under the mailman? Yeah. Deposit letter to cafe. All right. And he will get it tomorrow. I don't have cafe in my notebook yet. <clears throat> Forget what I have to do. I think I should... Uh, I'm just going to wait here and song of double time it. Until uh, the postman gets here for delivery. Hmm. There we go. Like I said, I'm going to advance this quest as far as I can at this point. I know I can't finish it because I can't get to Iconic Canyon. Um, but I'm going to advance it as much as I can because I think I do get. I forget. There's a mask or two I get at some point for this for this quest. I'm going to I'm going to go through it uh, as much as I reasonably can. And then uh, yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, I can chat about stuff. Okay. Um, like I said, I forget when the postman shows. But anyway, uh, so I, um, like I said, I kind of wanted to talk about, uh, first of all, a drink. This looks like mud. It is not. Um, this is a, uh, loquat juice with rum. Uh, two, part, two parts of loquat juice, one part rum. And, uh... 
Pretty good. Nobody else in the house seems to like the loquat juice, even though everyone likes loquats. Like, all the kids love loquats. No one drinks the juice. I I did a whole thing. I got a whole big bag of loquats, uh, which are like a, a local fruit. Uh, they're like gumquats, but a little bit smaller and a little bit more tart. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of them uh, to juice them. So I went to do it. I juiced them all up. Took us a, took us a good while. So she even helped with the process. Got it all done. Great. I love it. I think it's delicious. But nobody else in the house likes it. So I'm stuck here with my uh, with my. I had a big old the whole bottle of the stuff, and this is the last of it. This was a couple of uh, a couple of weeks ago. I made this stuff, so it's not gonna last too much longer. Here, have all of it. Uh, let's see if I can do the postman's quest. Oh, yeah. All right, fine. I'll just wait a minute. The burning, wait, the burning wicked attracts the moths when they attack you. Huh? The wick of the like of the bomb. Wait, moths? You mean in Woodfall? I'm trying to remember what exactly you're talking about as far as the, the moths go. I don't exactly remember. Hmm. It is. It does. Hey, no, don't lie. That that does not look good. That that looks like that looks like like pond water. It is good. It doesn't look good. <laughs> um, the thing with loquats, especially fresh, uh, is uh, that they 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 don't go bad, but they turn brown really quickly. Like as soon as they're peeled, they start to brown, and it only takes a few minutes for them to actually turn brown. Uh, and so basically, what happened with this is that it. Uh, uh, I made it. I made the juice. But while I was doing so, it was a couple of steps of process. I, I really quickly food processed the whole bunch of loquats to get the, the little seeds out of the pits. But then I had to pick all the seeds out of this mash that I had made uh, before uh, pressing it through a juicer. Uh, and so when I did, uh, while I was picking out all of the seeds, and by I, I mean Sersha was helping me, um, it was like... It was you could you could basically just watch them turn brown, which was fascinating, but also a little off-putting and a little disturbing. So maybe I don't know, maybe that's why the kids didn't like it. Right. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's a little bit odd that they uh, did that so quickly. My volume is a little high in here. Um, but yeah, so that was that that was a, that was an odd little. Uh, an odd little discovery that uh, that if you let loquats sit for any length of time while they are peeled, they'll turn brown. They won't rot. It's still they taste exactly the same. If anything, they're slightly sweeter, and the juice is certainly sweeter than the fruit than the fruit are fresh, which is a little odd, but tasty I think. Yeah, it turned out great. It looks like mud. It turned out great. My other drinks are, I've got a cup of coffee. I also have a, uh, I also have, not sponsored, but I got a Mountain Dew Baja Blast, because I got a whole bunch of these. They're on sale for, like, the 20th anniversary Baja Blast thing. So they're actually selling them outside of Taco Bells. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of pleased with that, because I actually really like, it's, it, it might be my favorite Mountain Dew. Which is a weird thing to have a favorite Mountain Dew, I guess, but I'm a gamer, so I'm allowed to have a favorite Mountain Dew. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, it's funny, actually. I was I was talking a lot in class today about uh, about gaming, in particular about um, one of the one of the major themes that I was uh, I was talking about in the heroic story in the uh, the storybook hero video. Hey, hey, you! What's uh, what's going on over here? Yeah. I'm currently on the job. If I stop to talk, it will disrupt my schedule. Yeah, but you're going to d deliver that to a buddy of mine. I don't know where he is. Even if I knew, I would be a, it would be a secret. Wait, you're not gonna go straight there? What happened? Really? I thought he was gonna go straight there to deliver it. Shoot. What happened? Did I misunderstand what the quest was? Dude, he's fast. Why is he so fast? He's going home. Okay. 
Alright, well now I'm gonna try the 10 seconds thing. The input lag might still be a problem, but I'm gonna try it. Oh, he's sleeping. Huh? There's only one letter today. It is so sad. But I shall deliver it perfectly. When? When, should, when shall you deliver it? Afternoon delivery. Evening practice. Okay, so afternoon is delivery. Okay, fine. Okay, he's got one delivery today, so I guess I gotta wait around for him to do it. Anyway, as I'm saying, <clears throat> uh, I talked a good bit about gaming in one of the classes today. Uh, I, really wide array of topics, because I talked about the um, the uh, the Death House story, which uh, Anna's not watching, I guess. She should be, because I'm, making, I'm gonna make fun of her. Uh, a friend of ours uh, who plays plays D&D with us um, in our Curse of Strahd campaign, this was almost a year ago at this point, um, she got a uh, an NPC party member killed, as well as our our party's dog, um, through bad decision making. And so I uh, I laid this out as a as a kind of a thought experiment for class, um, as a sort of ethical case to analyze. And I laid it out the way I described it was: four friends and their dog go to explore a haunted house. I go through in some details, gradually getting darker and darker and darker until it gets to the point where. Uh, where there is a uh, demand of a blood sacrifice, and, and it's very clearly not talking about Scooby-Doo anymore. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go follow him, I suppose. As you said. Goes to the laundry pool. I, I don't like that he goes the whole route, but whatever. I guess he's gotta practice. But yes, the NPC and the dog were absolutely innocent. <clears throat> uh, it was basically... Okay, so... I, I use it as a lesson to not just do something in a moment of crisis. Right, so so the, 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 the crisis point was, after the party... Because of course they did. After the party said, no, we're not going to sacrifice one of our own or our dog. Uh, the monster comes out. And they start running away from the monster because, guess what? It's a big scary monster. They're going to run away from it. Of course they are. Um... And so, when they start running away from the big scary monster, uh, they need to get out of the basement of this haunted house. And of course, the house is trying to kill them too. Um, <clears throat> and so, when they do, they uh, they get to like this the ladder out of the basement. Um, but it doesn't look like they're going to make it. It's going to be really, really close to make it out. So, um, uh, Tallow, one his character, uh, decides that she's going to basically shove the dog into the way of the monster. There we go. Uh, so the monster consumes the dog instead of a party member. Uh, which, you know, is uh, is kind of brutal. But un understandable, really, to some degree. Because, you know, it's a dog. It's not a person. Um, neither was the other party... Well, I mean, that's not fair. The other party member was a dwarf. Not a human. A person, not human. Um... So after shoving the dog into the monster and the, the dog getting horrifically consumed by this flesh mound um, creature, uh, he then goes on, uh, she then goes on to, uh, on the way out, there was this magical orb on a pedestal. Hey there, Cafe. Let's talk to Cafe. Um, green hat? Green clothes? All right, hold on. Let me finish the story while, while he's... Uh, so they... On the way out, there's this magical orb on a pedestal, and the choice becomes apparent. Do you touch the orb? Do you leave it alone? We're in a really bad position. Uh, her and the NPC ally, the NPC party member, were were really close. It was, it was touch and go whether they would escape or not. And so, in order to try desperately to change the situation, she figured, you know what? What's the worst that could happen? We're already in a really bad situation. I'm going to do something, and it's going to change something. Hopefully, it'll change things for the better. So she grabs the orb, and it spawns a whole bunch of shadows that then attack. So it immediately made the situation much, much worse. Um, so uh, that got Bronson, uh, the uh, the NPC dwarf party member, killed. Uh, and she never told anybody. Like throughout the rest of the campaign, she did not tell anyone what happened, exactly what she did, and that she was responsible for Bronson's death. Uh, so that's uh, that's how the that's 
that was, again, I use this to illustrate the point of uh, being in a crisis situation. We are tempted to just do something and not think carefully through um, what it is that we're doing or what it is that we're considering doing, just hoping that whatever it is that we're going to choose to do is going to alter the situation in some beneficial, positive way. And of course, it almost never does if you don't actually have a plan, a deliberate uh, connection between means and your desired outcome, your end. If you don't actually have that careful plan, you're, it's, it's almost never going to work because you haven't actually deliberated, you haven't given thought about it. You're just acting randomly on impulse and bad idea, man, bad idea. So that was that was uh, what I used that example for. I love that. I love the case study. I love the example. And I love that. <clears throat> uh, that this particular player will never live down uh, getting a dog and a party member brutally killed uh, through a series of probably at least mostly unnecessary bad decisions. Understandable. Understandable bad decisions, but still. Yeah. Alright. Andrew wrote about her in her letter. It seems you're looking for cafe. Can you keep a secret? I can. And you trusted you? I shall trust you. I am Cafe. You're a wee lad. The Cafe we're looking for is an adult. When I look at you, I just see a child. I was turned into this by a strange imp wearing a mask. But I'm not hiding because I look this way. When I was turned into this, I went to see the Great Fairy in the shrine near the North Gate. But on the way, my precious mask, a wedding ceremony mask, was stolen from me by some prancing man with a grinning face. Well, you're just careless. You're like my partner. <coughs> Before my wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was targeted because of what I had been turned into. Oh my, I pity you. I know Andrew is worried, but I can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I would bring the wedding mask and greet her. Miss Pendant, give it to Andrew. Okay. Pendant of Memories. You may not understand these grown-up matters. You should probably take the Pendant to Andrew anyway. Keep what we just talked about a secret from everyone. Mysterious Youth Cafe, is that your notebook? You've been entrusted with a precious item. Let's slow things down. So anyway, that um, that whole discussion led to, in one of my classes at least, um, a bit of a further discussion about the utility of uh, of gaming, uh, both video games and tabletop games, uh, for uh, sort of moral development, moral learning. The kind of thing that I talked about in my Storybook Heroes video. So that was again. I think that was a <clears throat> that was a a good discussion as well because we got to explore the issue of of uh, what can what can gaming lend us in terms of moral experience, in terms of all, the, all this kind of thing. <clears throat> and uh, and I I argue that it really can do a lot. It can be really helpful. Oh, did you meet him? Yes. He says, only sacrifice the dog if you don't have another option. The Great Companion's lesson learned, at least. Yeah, I mean, look, you can escape the situation entirely by just choosing to sacrifice the dog when the house starts chanting, one must die at you. You can just put the dog on the altar and stab it to death. That is an option. You can totally do that. Poor dog, but also everyone survives and everyone just gets to walk out of the house without being attacked, killed, etc. It's not a good option, but it's an option. Um, the other option, if, if like in the other Curse of Strahd game I played in, uh, your party is wildly overpowered. Um, we were only at level 2 at the time, still, but that's still, I mean. But, uh, we had, uh, what was it? Uh, a fighter, a barbarian, a paladin, a druid, uh, a warlock. I think that was it. Five? 
Was there a sixth? Am I forgetting a sixth? And a rogue. Of course I forget the rogue. She was tiny and roguish. We had a six-member party with a pretty good combat balance. We kicked the monster's ass. So that worked. That's an option. But with a with a smaller party, <clears throat> a party of three three actual players plus an NPC, the, I, fighting the monster was not a realistic option. And it's not supposed to be a realistic option uh, per the module. You are supposed to run from the thing. Fighting it is supposed to be a death sentence. Uh, so at least for somebody, if not a TPK, it should it should at least kill someone. Um, we we managed to survive it in the other game so, somehow. It was close, but we did. It's from Cafe. Thank you very much. The face looks so happy. That was added to your notebook. Now what? Hmm. The Smiling Man. Do I need to talk to the Happy Mask Salesman? Or is he talking about the um, Curiosity Shop guy? I'll go talk to the happy mass salesman, I guess. I don't think it's anybody. I'm gonna ask. Mm -hmm. well, that's that's the bunny hood, isn't it? That is a fine thing. It is filled with kindness towards animals. You've done some good work. Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you to get my mask. Wait, I need to talk to you. Oh, you? Were you able to get Majora's mask back? You still haven't done it? I can keep telling you that if you don't get it back soon, terrible things will happen. Only 37 hours remain. But time is not eternal. Please make the most of your time. Surely you should be able to do something. Believe in your strengths. Believe. What about the cafe's mask? Can I wear that? Mm -hmm. That mask. Mm -hmm. That's cafe's mask, isn't it? The worry of a concerned mother is expressed quite well in that mask. Unfortunately, that's not the mask I'm looking for. Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you to get my mask. Okay. Alright, let's go get the mail thingy. <coughs> uh, they give you loose scripts for heroism. Uh, so when a legitimate opportunity arises, you have a clear idea of what to do. Yeah, exactly. Um, literature does the same thing, by the way. This is not just, um... I'm gonna have to speed time back up. Catch up to him. Or if he's gonna actually get home a reasonable amount of time. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's... It's not just loose scripts for heroism. Um, but it provides training in virtue. Uh, both games and uh, and any really any form of literature, uh, it provides uh, not just a script for how to act heroically, but it allows us to place ourselves into a into the context of heroic action in a way that we otherwise would not be able to realistically in our actual everyday lives. Right? I'm a mild mannered academic. I've said this before. I don't have much of a, uh, a real opportunity to practice the virtue of courage. But I ought to, and I need to, because if I do encounter a dangerous situation, or one in which I have to act well in the face of grave difficulty, I, I, I need to have practice in doing so well. And doing so in a fictional context is really the only practice I'm going to get. So I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity to, to, to learn that sort of thing. Yeah! Wow, those ears! Oh, they're fake! You startled me! Don't disrupt my training! In my mind, I'm running for exactly ten seconds without looking at a clock. Who's in the middle of mental training? See? Here, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Mental training. It's mental rehearsal. It is rehearsing for a situation. It is preparing mentally for a situation that you, quite realistically, do not expect to encounter. Now, he does expect to encounter having to run, because he, he does this professionally, fine, whatever. Um, but it's this kind of mental rehearsal that I'm, that I'm realistically talking about here, that 
practicing for a difficult scenario <clears throat> in the context of fiction, uh, literature, gaming, whatever, allows you to more easily act that way in reality if you encounter a situation that calls, that, uh, calls for it. Yes, I will try. Let us try with the bunny hood. Let's see if we can. Let's see if this helps. There is an input lag. I knew it. There's about a. There's about a like point one or point one maybe point one five second input lag. I hit the button at about nine point eight. Ten seconds even. That is amazing! Your reflex is suitable for a postman! As thanks for showing me something impressive, I'll give you this! Oh cool! A piece of art. I can't be like this. I'll have to train more. MORE! Cool. Um, alright. Now I'm just gonna start time over. We're good. And then I'm gonna go to Woodfall. Wait, I can just do it for wherever, can't I? Um, I'm gonna get some bombs and then I'm gonna go to Woodfall. Correction. Yep. Do it. <clears throat> anyway, the other thing that I got to talk about in both classes was uh, um, the shopping cart theory. This is the idea that uh, that it is always a good thing. It is always morally uh, morally superior to. <clears throat> oh no, I, I missed something, didn't I? Uh, this is the idea that it's always morally superior uh, to return your shopping cart when you go shopping when you go to the store, uh, like return it to the store, or even just to the, the sort of cart corral or whatever. Um, that it's always a good thing to do that. Um, and even that it is an indicator of uh, of moral degeneracy if you choose not to. I obviously disagree. Um, in fact, my my thesis for this, my, my counterpoint is that <clears throat> for most people, most of the time, um, you actually have an obligation to not uh, return. You don't have enough rupees? Oh, balls. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, you actually have an obligation not to return the shopping cart. Uh, at least most people do in most circumstances. Not universally. There are cases where it is still a good thing to return the shopping cart. Um, but the majority of cases are not that. The majority of cases are such that um, it would be immoral or irresponsible of you to do so. Usually in a minor way, but still. Um... Now, the rationale for this is long, I can get into it. But the major point for this is that we shouldn't be so quick to fall into the idea that, oh, well, there's this this one, there's this moral test that it's always a good thing to do this innocuous thing, and you're just terrible for not doing it, even if it seems like, uh, it seems like it's a, a minor little thing. Because, yeah, guess what? It is a minor little thing, and guess what? <clears throat> there are circumstances in which that is absolutely wrong, and it might even be the fact that it might even be the, the case that most of those, uh, most of our circumstances are the circumstances in which doing this thing is not actually correct, right? So, all of that, again, is to say that um, you don't necessarily uh, get the right answer the first time you you come across my bag is 30, right? Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> you don't immediately get the right answer as soon as you consider an issue for 30 seconds. Right. And yeah, maybe the little things form character. Okay, fine. Oh wait, no, that's the sun song. What's... What the hell is the flying song? Song of Soaring. Okay, there it is. There we go.
All right, let's go. Okay. I forget. Do I have to go to the Great Fairy first? I do, don't I? I'm gonna try it. Whatever. Oh, whoops. I should have shot this guy first. Yeah, um, here's the thing, like, <clears throat> you might think, well, what are those rare circumstances in which you should not return the, you should not return the water, the waterfall, the shopping cart. But my argument is that there are lots of circumstances in which you should not return the shopping cart. For example, you might initially just have this question, right? Why should you not, why wouldn't you return it? It is, um... Purely helpful. All you're doing is trying to help somebody. Yes, fine, it's somebody's job, but it's nice to help them, right? Uh, it's always good to help someone out if it isn't going to cost you anything extra. Okay, counterpoint. Suppose you walk into the store. Suppose you're reaching, you're, like, while you're while you're shopping, and you're, you're a little distracted because you're thinking, huh, should I or should I not return the shopping cart? I mean, so naturally, as one, as one happens to think. This happens sometimes, right? Um... Um, seeing as your 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 mind is preoccupied with the question of whether I should or should not return the shopping cart, um, I am a little distracted while I'm out shopping, and so I, uh, as I'm reaching for a, uh, a jar of tomato sauce, I happen to knock down the one next to it. Okay, so I've knocked down a jar of tomato sauce. It has fallen to the ground in the supermarket and it is shattered all over the floor. Now, question. Would it be the kind and considerate thing of me to now clean up the mess that I have made? Now, it is someone's job to do that. But should I? Should I do it for them? Because, of course, like returning the shopping cart, it would be, it would be courteous of me. But, but, but we recognize... Oops. There it is. Um, but we recognize that that is not the case, right? You should not do something like that in the store, or maybe something less, perhaps, less dangerous. Right? Because the reason you shouldn't do that is because you might get yourself hurt doing so. And somebody else has the know-how and the equipment to do it right, you don't, so you should do it. <clears throat> um, so, but in a case like that, right, you obviously should not go beyond what you ought to do in the given circumstance. You ought to do... Uh, what it is appropriate for you to do, given your your particular relationship to the store, the, the store ownership, and whatever, right? For another example, suppose you go to, you go to a different shelf and you go to you go to get something, right? You need uh, you need some item off of that shelf. Um, say, uh, well, we're already getting tomato sauce, so let's say pasta. We're getting some pasta to go with the tomato sauce. I'm a stray fairy. This is your first one. Out of how many? It doesn't tell me how many there are. Darn. Okay. Huh. Okay. Is that... Do I need to do that here? I want to try it. I don't think I do, but... Nope. Okay. I think I need to go over there. Is that a stray fairy? I know there is one in one of these things, but whatever. 
<laughs> so suppose there's no pasta on the shelf, right? So I go, I, I want to get some pasta. I go to the shelf next to the sauce, and I go to get the pasta, but there's nothing there. Um, should I help the person whose job it is and go into the back room and go and find where the pasta is and go and get it? No, that would be absurd. If anything, I should, again, ask someone for help with the matter, even if I could do it myself. Okay, so we've established that there are plenty of circumstances in which it would be uh, it would be wildly inappropriate to, um, to do something when it is not my job to do it. Ugh, that stench it stinks just like that poison swamp. Of course it does, because it becomes cozy Um. I hear a buzz buzz. What is the buzz buzz? What's this? What do you think this is? Ashes in the center still fresh. Um. That'll get me back into the main room. Oh. Here. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Go. A turtle. Come here, turtle. That's a quick kill. Oh, you can land on the flytrap so safely? Really? I thought they still burst. I thought I just had a limited amount of time. Yeah, well. Whatever. It doesn't make that much of a difference, honestly. I still probably would have tried to go quick about it. Instinct tells me. Don't let them eat me. They look like they want to munch me. Anyway, sorry. Sorry, right, God, take your time. You're not... I mean, yes, you are my guy in the chair, but that's, that's, uh, that is a job that you have taken on very voluntarily, and so if you don't do it, I, I don't hold it against you. Um, so, alright, so if we've established, hopefully we've established, that there are times when it is, uh, when it is not necessarily good and helpful to do something that is beyond your job. Okay. Wait, I didn't want to do that at all. I just wanted to do a spin spin. Nice. All right. So if we have established that it's not always appropriate to do something that is not your job, um, can we establish that in this case in particular, look pretty light. I'm stand there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. 
Is it the case that in this case in particular, it is uh, not a good idea to do it? Hey, no, Matt, how you doing? I'm talking about the, uh, the shopping cart theory, why I think it's wrong. Um, I'm so paranoid about getting too close to the damn skull fellows. How do I get that? Do I have to use it? Do I have to shoot the bubble with an arrow or something silly? I do, don't I? Yeah. That bubble down there is what I'm talking about. That's right, I have to bring the fire from over there. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. That makes sense. Oh, frick. It's always a bee. It's always a bee. Should I go through here first? That's the real question. I feel like I should go that way first. Might be able to dive and get that a little hurt. Hmm, I don't want to hurt. Let's see what this is. Oh, look, it's more of these. I could just do this. These are way easier to fight this way. Oh, that was way easier. Trying to do the, the jump thingy. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Compass, I guess. So, uh, in addition to in addition to the, it's not always appropriate to do to help somebody with their job. In addition to that, uh, I think we could also say that in this particular case, it is not so simple as it's always the right thing to do, or it is always uh, sort of costless, because that's the other part of this. That there's no significant cost uh, or difficulty or challenge or whatever to uh, to helping return the shopping cart. Um, which I don't, again, I don't think that's correct. Now, the reason I think that's incorrect uh, is because uh, that assumes that you are um, a particular sort of person in a particular set of circumstances. Now, for example, I live in Florida, right? Where I live, weather is far from reliable and often far from good. 
So that means a couple of things. It could mean that I went into the store with a bright sunny day, and I come out and it's pouring rain. Be careful. I sense a lot of evil here. They take them out. All of them. chest here. What is the... Do I need to kill them all for it? Yes! There it is. Oh yeah, Luger, you just force it into the flower. Yeah, I... I don't like fighting them that way. Uh, honestly. Gotta time it too perfect, you know? Speaking of timing it perfectly, yeah. There we go. Okay. Balls. I hate this. Highly inconvenient. Ah! I didn't fall to my death. Come here. Come on. Bring it out. There we go. So, follow-up point. So, if it is, say, pouring rain when you get out of the store and go back to your car, you put all your groceries in the trunk. Question, do you then go back to the store through the rain to return your cart? Because I don't know about you, but I would not do that. Uh, no, I would, I would not do that. Um, I would instead leave the cart somewhere reasonably close to my vehicle and get in and drive away because it's pouring rain. Okay. I, I would not, in fact, uh, get myself even further soaked under those circumstances. Okay, suppose further. Um, suppose, because again, I live in Florida. Suppose it's 95 degrees and I bought ice cream. I put the ice cream, among my other groceries, in the trunk of my car. Uh, then what? Do I go and take the, I don't know, two to five minutes to return the, sh the shopping cart to the front of the store uh, while my ice cream melts in the trunk of my car? Or, or do I do the allegedly discourteous thing uh, of just leaving it somewhere nearby, getting in the car, turning on the air conditioning, and driving home? Uh, or, perhaps, what do you want? From up here, we have a better view of the shrine. Yeah, I know. I need to shoot it with an arrow. <clears throat> um, I could do the, quote, relatively discourteous thing. Um, no, it's another one. Of, uh, of just, you know, leaving it there. 
leaving the card out there. But here's the point, right? The, the major point is, if I were to... Oh, there we go. Nice. Uh, if I were to just leave the cart there, I am inconveniencing somebody else, but I'm inconveniencing someone whose job it is to be inconvenienced in precisely that way. If, on the other hand, I decide not to do that, how do I get over there? How in the world do I get over there? Can I jump that? I don't trust that I can jump that. I don't trust that I can jump that. If I were instead to decide to uh, leave my car where it is, uh, and instead to go and get the, uh, go and put the cart back with the ice cream in my car and the heat and all that stuff, right? Uh, then I would argue I am being far more irresponsible. I'm violating a direct obligation I have to get my ice cream home to where it belongs in my refrigerator in a timely ma in a timely manner before it melts and is ruined. Now what? Minibus. Lizalpos. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to do this. Yes. Yeah, okay, definitely not. What do you want? Dinofoles. Okay, I'll target me for defending. Okay. 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 Is it the bow? I hope it's the bow. Nice. So in any case, there are circumstances, plenty of circumstances, I would say, uh, such that it would be irresponsible of me uh, to abandon my vehicle, say. Um, not in the long term, obviously, but even in the short term, uh, to go and return the cart. For another example, Suppose I am elderly, or uh, or I am uh, disabled in some way, physically disabled. Uh, in that case, we can assume that it would be somewhat difficult and perhaps even dangerous for me to go all the way back to the car, uh, go back to the, uh, the store, and then come back to uh, to my car. And that would be an additional layer of danger that it seems, at least to me, uh, would be a, a significantly increased danger for very little uh, return, so to speak. I mean, there would be very little return. Oh, jeez. Okay. Come here, fairy. Sweet. Oh, shoot. Womp womp. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's the way I'm supposed to do that, but I did it. It's a lair. A frog! You want a gecko? That's not a gecko. That is not a gecko. Look at that thing. And it's pretty angry. It's pretty weak too. Really shouldn't be making a fool of you. Weird loser. Yeah, that was that was pretty weak. Too. Oh no, it's one of those too. Okay. 
There we go. It's a froggy. Oh my god, is that actually one of the frogs from the side quest? Do you have to go and do this for that side quest? For the frog orchestra or whatever? No? Okay, never mind. Fourth shot. Yeah, you do. Okay, great. I, co I totally forgot that, that was I forgot that was there. Fascinating. Alright. Well, okay. When I get around to doing that, I'll have to remember. What's this? The boss already? Oh my god, this is a short dungeon. I forgot how short this dungeon was. Jeez. Alright. I guess I forgot that this is basically the equivalent of, like, the Deku tree, rather than being the equivalent of, like, the Forest Temple. Because I think of it like it's the equivalent of, like, the Forest Temple, but it, it's not. It's 100% not. Um, alright, so, now what? I'm still, like, like, seven fairies short. I'm still a bunch of fairies short. There we go. Hey, clean water, yay! Oh yeah, no, it, this is a really well-designed dungeon. I'm very pleased with how it's how it's all laid out. Ah, <laughs> nice. First try. Uh, now, how the hell do I get over there? Uh, do I need to do, I need to do the Deku flower over here? Maybe? Maybe? Maybe this is it. Okay, I know there's the one underwater over here. I know that much. I need five more. Jeez, man. There's eleven. There's four more. I don't know where they are, though. not marked on my map, are they? What's that? 
There's four in a room you haven't gotten to yet. Oh. Well, okay. I guess so. There we go. Keep going, that shovel. Oh, I remember this room very distinctly. Right. those out temporarily, doesn't it? I really... Okay. Yeah, they're along the alcoves. I forget which sides, so. though. Yeah, I'm I'm actually decent with the bow in most Zelda games. It's my it's probably my favorite I'll call it a tool rather than a weapon, because in most cases it works more like a tool than it does a weapon. It's used more like a tool most of the time. Uh, but yeah, it's probably my favorite. Right, one more. I think is right above me, right there. Not good arrows, I need those. There it is. Last one. Yeah. Um. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I need to do from over there. Do darn it. Okay. Darn 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 darn. I wanted to leave and get and go see the Great Fairy. Mm, that is a good point. What does she give you for this one? I forget. I forget what it is. You may be able to convince me that the reward is worth it. Is it magic meter? Or increased magic meter? Because if that it if that's it, then eh. Because I know there's the Great Fairy Sword, but that, I don't think that's here. That's in the, the last one. At least I think it is. Right? I don't know. Shoot. Silly me. Oh god. Really? Really? Hmm. Will that one get me over there? It probably will. Don't ask me. Well, there I go being silly again. Oh. 
Uh, either the spin attack or the increase uh, magic meter. Okay. And neither of those is, like, absolutely urgent for right now. Does not help. There we go. That the uh, the the sensitivity on this controller is just way way too high for this game. It is uh, extremely detrimental to my ability to do that. There's some arrows that are just what I need. There. I need to get up there. Okay. There we go. This should get me to that one, which should get me up there, I think. Nope, yeah, there is. Yeah, the boss is formidable. Yeah, I know. I mean, honestly, the either an increased magic meter or uh, or the improved spin attack is not like that's not incredibly helpful. Uh, I already have a fairy. Um, I need more arrows, but what are they gonna do? All right. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Why not? Why am I going in as a scrub? I should be in as a human. Wait, should I? I should be okay. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, dull. I love, by the way, oops, why did I do that? I love the music. For if you get close to him, you'll be beaten. Do you understand me? I do. Yeah, look at that. You're right. Hey, 
Hell yeah! That isn't how it's supposed to work, but it did, so I'm okay with it. Arrows. these. Okay, you're good. Jesus. Yeah, no, this is, uh... This is formidable, as you were saying. Jesus, is there a way to flip that? Oh, yeah, you just shoot him. There we go. Hey, Aztec Warrior, how are you? How you doing? Good evening. Hmm. Well, cheers. That was fun. That is a fun boss fight. I love that one. Uh, that is... I, I will almost say, unfortunately, probably my favorite boss fight in the game. Um, just because of how mobile and dynamic it is, and also just the, the, the excellent uh, sound design of the, like, the chanting and the music and all that together. It's really, really good. Um, yeah, no, that's fantastic. Nice. One of you, well, I mean, yeah, fair. He's basically an Aztec warrior, yeah. Basically, I mean, look at him. It's uh, a little bit crown-like on the mask, but I think that's just the uh, the limitation of the, the graphics. What other was remains? You just freed the innocent spirit from this dark mask and kept imprisoned within the body of the evil Odorwa. Excellent. In Gaunt. Dot is the the snowfall one, right? The one that, that like you have to race as the Goron. Yeah, that one's pretty fun. That was really fun. I don't remember the Stone Tower one. The Stone Tower boss too well. What's that?
I love the giant design. They're a, they are they are what a child would draw. Right there is this there is this stage of drawing a person, uh, and it's usually around age four or so before they get torsos. Right, so it's 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 head, arms, and legs. And I love that this is. I, I have to assume this is a really intentional design. That it's a very childlike design for these relatively childlike entities. Excuse me, entities, the giants. Anyway, I think that it's it's really cool, and it, it seems to me like it's very intentional design. Wait, listen. It seems to be saying something. But that crying be its way of teaching us some sort of melody. Don't just stand there, get your instruments! There we go. I love that you learn this right at the beginning and then just you don't use it until the very end. Like, at all. If the Oath to Order doesn't have a use until the end. Um, at the same time, that's a little bit annoying, because you learn a song that has exactly one use in the game. So, mm. Now, that's something that this game otherwise avoids pretty well. Most of the other songs have multiple uses. Learn the Oath to Order. You're very cool. Call us. That's what it's saying. This is actually figured out not too long ago. Uh, they can go back to Majora and use it early. You'll fail, but still. Really? Huh. So, like, the one giant will show up and get crushed? Because that's horrific. Hey! Check that out. I can go back there. Is that where I come out of? That's where I come out of, isn't it? I come out the butt of the temple. Oh yeah, I need to use, I need to empty out a bottle to use, don't I? The four people Tail talked about. You'd think he was talking about the spirit that was sealed inside that mask. Oh hey, you were pretty good out there. Have you done this before or what? Yes, in fact, hero of a whole land elsewhere. Just now, just keep up that pace and save the other three. Hey, um... All that stuff I did to you, your horse, I, uh, I apologize. Sorry. There, I apologize. Don't hold it against me, got it? I was gonna, but I guess now I won't. Now then, we've helped the princess just like the monkey asked. Now our next stop is in the mountains. Let's hurry and do something about that skull kit. But we gotta bring the princess back first. Oh, speaking of... Uh, one, two, or three. They have uh, they have animations and everything very sad. Yeah, that's... Man, that's kind of depressing. I kind of want to try it, but that's also horrifying. I mean, this game is a little bit horrifying, so... What? Who are you? Pink, pleased to meet you. I'm the Dickoo Princess. Were you, by chance, asked by that monkey to save me? Aha! Just as I suspected. You see, your body smells like a little bit like monkey. So the monkey made it back fine after all. That's good. Um, I was worried when, uh, that when I didn't come home, my father would think the monkey had kidnapped me. I was worried that my father would even go so far as to punish the poor monkey. I mean, yeah, like I said, this game is pretty dark. <laughs> uh, funny you should say that. Don't tell me. Are you serious? Is Father actually doing that? Yet another hasty decision, Father. 
and now I'm all mad. Well, we haven't any time to lose. Hey, Mr. Link, can you please find something to carry me in? You can take me to the Baku Palace. I guess. I'm not happy about it, but sure. Wasteful. Caught you, which is ridiculous, but fine. <clears throat> it's a tight fit, but she says she'll be fine if you hurry. Mr. Link, there's no time to lose. Hurry, take me to the palace. It's ridiculous. Wait, which which discussion does this tie into? I had, we had several different discussions. I don't remember which one this is about. Alright, I gotta go to the ferry, so... Anyway, so, uh, so to summarize my earlier point, uh, in terms of the, uh, Shopping cart theory and all that. Um, you're torturing the monkey just to do something. They're torturing the monkey just to do something. Yeah, yeah, like they have nothing better to do. Yeah, no, actually, absolutely. Never. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Good point. Um, absolutely right. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna bother with the chest. It's just more rupees. Enough at this point, I think. I forget if there's more to do now that the swamp is clear. I think there is, but I'm trying to remember what. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, basically they just have to do something. And the monkey is there, so you might as well torture him. Um, Aztec, uh, Aztec Warrior says, I also feel like the game only sadness is angry with everyone. Loneliness and more. It's... <laughs> Yes, and yet there is still a kind of tragic beauty to it all. There is still a glimmer of hope that you can just sort of pry open and 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 almost allow uh, allow that tiny little bit of hope to blossom and and light up the darkness of the game. And that I think is why I love this game so much. Is that it's dark, it's twisted, it's it's wrong. It's upside down, it's inverted, it's bizarre, but also, you're the hero, and you're being the hero. Uh, it's, in some respect, it's like, um... It's kind of like, uh, like, well, what Erica at least talks about in terms of Fallout. Now, I can never get into the Fallout world. I can never get into the, the, the world building of it. Not really. Um, I never cared for it. Uh, there's just something about it aesthetically that I don't, I don't love, but... There is that moment, there is that aspect of Fallout where you are correcting things, you're making things better. And by making things better, you're um, you're contributing to to the well-being of this otherwise terrible world. And there's there's something there's something good, there's something wholesome about that. But I, I still I, don't know, I still don't love it. Still don't love it. I don't know. And use slides from this game in class. Um, I haven't, but I've talked about this game a little bit. Um, not in this class, but in, in the past I have. Thank you for returning my broken, shattered body. New sword technique. Okay, yeah, so it's the upgraded spin attack. Got it. That actually would have been kind of handy. Oh well, whatever. That would have been kind of handy in the boss fight, just because of all of the little the little scary bugs. I'm pretty sure when I first played this, I didn't figure out the bomb trick for the moths, and I just tanked them until I could beat up uh, Adolwa. Adolwa, or whatever. Hey, Charles. Yeah, no, I, uh, welcome. Welcome. I love this game. I think I probably even like this a little more than uh, than after that time. I don't know. I don't know if I actually like it more than Ocarina of Time. That's a really hard thing to say. Um, but I certainly... It is certainly, I think, just about the perfect sequel. 
So there's at least that to say. I could just warp there, but whatever. I'm going to go collect everything and see what there is to do now that the swamp is clear, and uh, that's what I'm going to be spending the rest of the cycle doing, I think, anyway. So. Would I like cyber Cyberpunk? I, I don't know. I have... <laughs> I've tried getting into the Cyberpunk setting in general, but it's not... I don't know. I don't love it. It's, uh, it's a little bit too uh, deconstructive of... Uh, of a lot of things that I think are genuinely good, while also trying to be just deconstructive of things that are genuinely bad. It's, uh, it's, a, it's kind of a philosophically mixed bag, the setting. Um, as far as uh, cyberpunk settings go, um, I prefer uh, Shadowrun. Really. Uh, I think I prefer the Shadowrun setting, if I'm talking about uh, vaguely cyberpunk settings. <coughs> oh, oh yeah, no, I did. I, I think I did surprisingly well with the bombs. I actually hit the. Um, I actually hit the boss a few times. Hey. This is the palace of the Taku Kingdom. Only those on official business may enter. You may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who angered our king. Buff Puff says, weird recommendation, but there's a 50% chance you would love, love Dango Rope. Uh, it's not one I've seen. Seen, right? It's, a, it's an anime, not a manga. Or I guess maybe it's both. I haven't seen it. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know much about it. So I can say. Maybe. And, uh, thankfully, he is not getting dipped in boiling water yet. What are you waiting, Mr. Link? Hurry! Open this bottle and release me right where my collar is standing. Here you go. Plop. And race the big butler to the archery course. Ah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Trigger heavy havoc. Okay. Huh. I, I gotta say, if I'm gonna be getting into an anime, which I, I, I kind of want to at some point uh, get into a new one. It'll probably be Spy X Family. I've heard so many good things about Spy X Family that, uh, that I can't believe I haven't watched it at some point. That's my... That is... Um, oh, oh, the game. Oh. Oh, I thought it was an anime. Is there an anime that it's based on or that it was based on it or something? Now, I will say it, it isn't all that suitable to a stream. Uh, so it might be something that I would play off stream if, it's, if, it, if it is really good. Because uh, there's a few games that I, I wouldn't really want to play on stream because they're either too slow and plotting, like Baldur's Gate 3, uh, because I love that game, it's great, but it wouldn't work well on the streams because the combats take too long and stuff like that. Um, I'd think about it, but probably not. Um, also, I'd need to update the damn thing, which I haven't since it came out. Uh, still on version 1.0. Uh... I have seen part of Inland Saga. I didn't finish it because there wasn't a there wasn't a there wasn't a dub when I went to watch it, and I I can't do subs long term because I need to multitask. So I need to have it over on, over on my second monitor, you know that kind of thing. Um, that's a visual novel, okay. Um, but yeah, the uh, the what was I just getting at? I forget. Uh. Good, good stream with reaction commentary. Maybe, maybe. I like I said. I try and I try and go for games that have some some philosophical topics, some content for me to for me to discuss philosophically rather than just uh, rather than just the uh, the gameplay and the reactions. Uh, the the game, the channel, the live streaming part of this channel has always been sort of supplementary to uh, to my um, to my educational stuff. Whether that's my actual classes or my my lecture stuff, um, I more or less think of this as office hours. Just while playing a game, which I've actually told some of my students. If my students ask about my, my streaming, they are, of course, welcome to come in here and ask actual class questions, and I will prioritize that, because that's important. Days? Yes, exactly. If I wanted to read, I'd buy the manga. Absolutely. I think that is a that is a great description of my attitude toward subtitled animes. Absolutely. Oh, my princess! My darling princess! Are you all right? I was so worried! <laughs> Ugh, foolish father! What a 
are you doing? Let that monkey go this instant! Oh, Mr. Monkey, I'm truly sorry. Father just took rash things when he's worried about me. I understand, Princess. Forget about that. Has the temple returned to normal? Why, yes, thanks to Mr. Link here. I'm very truly grateful. Really? So you're called Link, are you? Thank you for keeping your promise to me. How do you remember that? Whatever, it's fine. A squeaky is walking. As a symbol of all gratitude, a butler has... Oh, that's her. A butler has prepared a little something for you. Please accept it. You'll find it in the shrine that will be to your right when you leave the palace. Okie dokie. Sounds good. Right, well, let's go. Let's go chat with the butler. Also, this song is a jam. I love it. So much of the music in this game. Honestly, it's most of the music in this game is absolutely amazing. God, it's basically the Dompe maze all over again, isn't it? I forgot about this. Link, I'm truly grateful for what you've done for the princess. It's a sign of our gratitude. We, Deku, have prepared something that we think may assist you. I will lead you to it. Whoop. Please follow me. I will. to do this, but it is, uh, I'm sure, helpful. Monster from 2004 is another good one. Better be dead there. <laughs> well done, Link. Now, here's the item I promise. Please accept it. Mask of Sense! 
your sense of smell. Work with C to sharpen your olfactory perception. Sniff, sniff. That's the power of smell. I have no idea what this is for. I completely forgot. It has something to do with finding a mushroom for Kama and Katake, but I forget what else it does. I, oh man, I don't remember it all. Actually, when I see you, I'm reminded of my son who left home long ago. Of how I feel as if I'm once again racing with my son. I'm afraid I have tried too hard to outrun you. As old as I am, I'm still a fast competitor. Just like when I raced my son. Please forgive my rudeness. I know, because, you know. Because your son is dead. Wait. What is it? What is it? Not that. There it is. Okay. I forgot the song feeling. Does this help him at all or no? It's worth a shot, right? He certainly has an emotional wound of some sort. Okay. Now. Uh-oh. Hey, you made it! That was close. Um, come in Kitake. Oh, I gotta do that. I gotta do the shooting gallery. Mushrooms in the not lost woods, okay, yeah. Let me blue potion. Sorry, that's not bad. Alright, cool. You know, now that I think about it, I could have just swam. I definitely could have just swam that. Alright, uh, da, 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 I can't do the map here, can I? Darn. Okay, um, there's the Skiltala house. I don't actually need to play with that. Go this way. Go that way. I already did the Skiltala house. I'm just gonna swim, as I can now, because I don't have the, um, there's no Octorox in my, the big Octos or whatever. Might as well. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm back here. Unexpected. Stockpot in, if I remember correctly. Oh, like if you like if you have the the, the smelly mask. Um. Smelling? I'm not gonna bother with that either. Um, let's go talk to Kame. Could I, I? I swear there's something else to do in the Not Lost Woods aside from blue potions, because I don't actually need a blue potion because it'll just disappear if I go back in time. Uh, right. I need to get a red potion, save Katake. Okay, okay. Anything else? No, that's all in this. That's all in clock down, so I don't think so. Do I need to actually do this? Is this is this useful or necessary? Wah! <laughs> Tee welcome. 
My potions work very well, they do. Mm, I've only had some fragrant mushrooms. I don't have any. Long ago, this powerful nose of mine could detect them wherever they grew. But lately, my nose has lost its touch. It's tough getting old. Okay. Um, do I actually need to go save Kotake? Does that actually help me in any way, or what? This is so ridiculous. Follow you. I'll come back to the mushrooms, I suppose. Oh well, help me! The power of this mass allows you to see what you can smell. Possible. Put the scent in something to get back to the hag's magic potion shop. Oh! Take the scent in something. Oh, that's weird. Okay, fine. I'll just talk to you instead. I was just busy minding my own business picking mushrooms when BAM! I got hit from behind! Blah 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 blah. Do I have something that. No. I could have just bought it. I'm a big dumb dummy, aren't I? Oh. Ah, what's this? There's no help. I say you're not a blah 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 blah. Okay. Oh, I got the mushroom. Cool. Magic mushroom. Alright, let's get out of here. Right. Let's see. Be welcome. Blah 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 blah. What's that? Kilkidot Kome? That's ridiculous. It's just the skull kid. What harm could possibly do? Here, take this potion. The bottle's already full. I can't sell you any potions. Here, take this. Can I not? Oh no! Are you serious? Did I get a? Did I get into a stupid loop here? Did I get into an unsolvable loop here? Shoot. Uh... Okay. I think I can sell it at the curiosity shop and come back. I think. At least I think so. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. I think you could sell most of the things in your bottle at the cosmic shop, so I'm gonna try this one. Whoops. Yeah. No, that's it's not it's I know what's wrong. I'm I'm dumb. That's what's wrong. I need an empty bottle, and the way to empty my bottle is to give her the mushroom. But I can't give her the mushroom because I need an empty bottle. I can sell it. Curiosity shop. Nothing to sell. Here, buy this. Oh, buy this. Five rupees, fine, whatever. No, that's it. It's all bad. <laughs> Jerk. I got rid of the thing. That's what matters. Oh, 
Let's go back. Let's get the potion. Alright. Let's do this. This is very silly. Okay, I got it to work. I got it to work, so we're good. We're good. It was just rather silly of me to do it that way, that's that's all. I could have, should have, and would have thought this through a little better. Um, I am gonna jump it though. Okay. Hi. Oh, pretty. Quick, take potion to her. I will. Forthrightly. Forthwith? Yeah, forthright. Forthwith. There we go. That's the word. <clears throat> All right. Follow me! Yeah, okay. I should just be able to memorize this, but I don't want to. Oh, Jesus. Does this actually help me? Boy! <laughs> Tell me it's revived! You've saved me! I'm sure, guy! Bye! Okay, cool. Alright, let's go. It's a good setup as far as he's concerned. He has rupees to steal. Yeah, for Need. I don't really need any of this, but here we go. Get it everywhere. Okay. Um, I helped Kotake, so let me go talk to Kame again, I guess. Why not? Potions work very well. Kame told me all about it. Hmm. So you take the boat cruise yet? No, that's all. Okay. I guess I can take the boat cruise. I don't know if it'll help me much. I don't know what I can really do. I already did, I already got the pictographs that I need. Um. The bunny hood does not actually make me swim very fast, does it? I don't know. I think this is what I'm asking for. Oh, she'll do a shooting challenge from the boat. Oh, okay, okay. I was thinking you met the, the shooting gallery uh, on the way in, but that's cool. All right, yeah, let's give this a shot, shall we? All right, cool. Let's, yeah, let's do it. Thanks for what you did back there. As a special thank you, just for you, I let you try this cruise for free. Oh, but wait, yes, just as I thought. It seems the poison swamp has been cleaned up. So why not try something that's more interesting? How about a little game? I'll fly around in my broom and you try to hit my target. Yeah, sounds fun. <laughs> that's the way to go. But let me explain. You're not aiming for me with that bow. You're aiming for the target. Yeah, well, what if I shoot you? Is it funny? If you hit me, I'll never forgive you. Oh, well, that's why. Okay, that explains. I mean, it doesn't fully explain, but good enough, I guess. 
Uh, do I use what? B button? Whoop. Um. Whoop. 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 Oh, I hit her. Really? I went through the darn target. Where'd you go? There she is. I need ten, right? Oh, jeez. Can't see. Can't see her. Ah. How many did I get and why? Wow, that was sloppy. 18 hits, huh? You have to get more than 19 hits, otherwise no prize. Really? Wasn't that fun? I'm gonna play again. Yeah, I'll play again. I got groupies for it. Do again. Play again. That's all. I was one away, really? Okay, it doesn't matter if I hit her, apparently. Okay. She's just gonna whine about it. This is so much better with music. I should have done this during the day. Oh, sorry, lady. Oops. Shot in the dark. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. All right. Twenty-seven is not bad. Twenty-seven is not bad. Pretty good, considering. Is there like a higher grand prize number? Well, that's promised. Here, take this. Woo! Filled up. Wasn't that fun? If you'd like to play again, come see me, tee -hee. No, I, I, I don't think there is a further grand prize, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Alright, let's go try the shooting gallery. Which, that one, I don't think you need to have the swamp cleared for the shooting gallery.
Uh, you get a bigger quiver. Maybe another hard base. Yeah, bigger quiver is always nice. Always nice. I do love arrows. How about you just don't instead of do? Oh, that... No? Okay. Maybe it's this one? No. Okay, that didn't... How do I get that? Do I need the hook shot or something? Or... Can I just climb? Oh. Wow. Alright. That was silly of me. fish in there. Alright. Let's do the shooting gallery, shall we? Oh, 6 a.m. Alright. Okay, dawn of the second day. Daytime only. Basically. Yeah. Alright. Gallery time. Hey, <laughs> hey mate, how are ya? Wanna play? One guy used 20 rupees. Let's do it. I got rupees. Rules in the game, take a peek. Okay, oh my god, I can't, I'm not doing the accent. Shoot for the targets from atop the platform. You gotta hit them all, that's all there is to it. If you don't aim proper with Vedda, you won't hit any of them. You ready, mate? Yeah, I'm ready enough. Oh, hey, you. target number is, but I'm doing pretty well, I think. Isn't the first prize like a thousand? Did not get a perfect game anywhere close to it. A bit harder. Really? Yeah, fine. What am I shooting for? 2,000 or something? Let's...
At least there's no ammo limit for this one. There we go, 2,000. I think that's it. I mean, I know it's not a perfect game, but it might actually be. Is it? There's, there's nothing else for me to shoot, so... No way, you almost had it, mate! Well, just this once. Here you go. What? I have to get a perfect game. Serious? What's going on here? That was terrible. That was terrible. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Shooting, good shooting. Those feckers. Damn it. Okay, I'm, I'm screwed. There we go. Okay, okay. Still not great. I got some more rupees. I can keep doing this. Good. Up there.
Missing. Only 120. Perfect. Hey, there we go. Okay. Well, that's per darn good, mate. Perfect. Here you go. Take this, mate. I don't. I'm. I'm so lost on this guy's accent. 40 arrows. Not bad. Tell your friends all about Orn. Um. Do I still get a piece of heart if I win again? Don't you play, mate? Let's try one more time, shall we? Let's see if I can get a piece of heart. I don't think I get one, but let's try it anyway. Oh well, uh, I can't afford to play again, so guess not. All right, well, I spent a lot of rupees, but I got it. <laughs> oh gosh, okay, well, that's all for that. Um, I guess, I know there's more stuff I can now do now that I have the bow. That includes some stuff in town. Oh, like the shooting gallery in town. I can do the shooting gallery in town, too, can't I? Wait. There isn't one, is there? I'm crazy. Is there a shooting gallery in town? I'm just thinking of Bomchu Bowling, and I'm awful at it. Ah, well... Let's, uh, let's wander around for a little bit. Let's see what there is to do. Um, I can't get a Pona yet, because I can't get the... What's it called? Um, the Powder Cake. I can go to Snowpoint. But I don't think I will yet. Let me go back into town and see what I can do. I just walked in, dude. Why are you like this? Um. I don't think there is anything else I need to do on this cycle. Faze, any ideas? Is there anything I need to do in particular on this cycle? This way through. get another uh, silver ruby from the bomber side out. 
Uh, I could get the Goron mask and get the powder keg. That is true. Or is this the is this the shooting gallery? Yeah, I can do the shooting gallery. Look at that. Yeah, I don't have the rupees, so I go need to go get that silver rupee first. Uh, but yeah, I could get the Goron mask and the powder keg. That is true. That is true. Um, I don't know if I get time for it. I get 45 minutes before I really get out of here. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna get that last silver rupee over there. Let's go get that silver rupee, shall we? And then I'm gonna go to the other shooting gallery, shall we? <clears throat> now that I can. Yeah, I don't think there's anything more to do this cycle. It has to happen this cycle now that the swamp is clear. There honestly isn't that much to do in the cleared swamp. Um, especially compared to the others. But, you know, that's, that's kind of to be expected, honestly, to be honest. It's the first area. Uh, go to the stockpot in, go to the room where the guests play cards. Hey, Andrew's here. What, what are you doing? The guests play cards? You mean where the circus folk, the circus freaks are? Oh, hey. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, I'll run the field. Yeah, I know. I mean, this one? What about it? your notebook? I thought he was already in my notebook. Uh, she's going to the laundry pool to cry. Oh, that, that quest is so haunting. Poison. Okay. What can I do here? I don't understand. I'm lost. Lost. Confused. You explain what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go shoot stuff. Oh, uh, the Mask of... Secrets? Or the Mask of Truth? The... This one? Yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. Right, yep, I know. Shoot stuff. Okay. Oh, shoot! I'm not supposed to shoot the green ones. Or the blue ones, or whatever. Okay. Okay. That's it. Shot one that I wasn't supposed to so far. Hopefully that doesn't confuse me. That doesn't confuse me too bad. Oh, that's it. Okay. Damn. Six new record. Here I go. Bigger quiver. Fifty arrows. Um, does that mean I can get 
the piece apart if I do it again? Because I want to try doing it again. Why not? Yeah, let's try again. Yeah, shoot the red ones. No, the blue ones. Bad. Did I get anything for that, or no? Okay. All right. All right so, what do I need the uh, the mask of truth for exactly? something for him at night. At night. Andrew's grandmother, I need to listen to a story, but I need but for that I need the all night mask, which have which I get in the Kathan Andrew quest, I think, from the from the Curiosity Shop. Um Guruguro, he's all set. Grog is all set. Kamara's all set. Rosa sisters, all they're all done. He I need to talk to at the end, but that's again that's tied in with Cafe and Andrew Quest. Gorman, I forget, I forget what it is for him. Oh, it's in the um, the milk bar. Right, something about the milk bar for both of these two. Um, and I need all three of the transformation masks to do that. I have to play for both of them, I think. The mayor, I forget what I have to do for the mayor. I don't think I can do it yet. Um, this is a whole thing. These guys are all done. Bombers. That's also Cafe and Andrew stuff. I'm missing a few. Um, uh, I... Hmm. How about the mayor? Ah, yes. Well, welcome. Sorry, Baze. Welcome back. Welcome back. By the way, funny thing, I uh, I mentioned this morning people were talking about uh, uh, people were talking about like weather and like, what weather people happen to like, and uh, and I mentioned how I hate the sun. I was I was almost expecting you to jump in. You weren't online at the time, but uh, I was almost expecting you to jump in and uh, call me uh, call me Oliver Graves or something, or at least say something like uh, something like I have no rivals or whatever. You know, make a reference, make a good reference. Well, do you have some business? Room to the left of the mayor's blah 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 blah. Does this help? I don't think this helps. Me. There's a mushroom hidden in Gorman's laundry. Um. Nah, this is the same. 
Same as always, okay. I need, I forget what it is that calms them down. There's a mask I need to calm them down. I forget what it is. It's a mask or a song? Let me get the sniffy mask. Okay. And uh, check the laundry. What does the mushroom do? Is it just another mushroom that I can give to the I can get for a blue potion or something? Or? See what you can smell. I know you're very stinky. Can I can I get it? Very smelly. Oh, okay, that didn't help me. Is it just the same mushroom from like from the Lost Woods? The, or not the lost ones, but whatever. Because I mean, if it's the same thing, I'm not really gonna. I'm not really gonna bother. go and get the Goron mask. You know what, I'm at least gonna unlock an owl statue over there. Uh, which direction is I forget? North. Right. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm at least gonna go unlock an owl statue. I buy a snow point map from you, Tingle. I'd like to. Or have I already? I might have already. Hmm. I don't know. I'll talk to you. Yep. Uh, what do we got? Mm -hmm. No. I think I already got the wood point. We'll see. Because it is uncovered from the like, clouds. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to some sometimes. And I have a sword, too. Bye. Okay. Oh, the Dungo. I don't want to play with the Dungo. Wait, what? No. How do we get there? Green. 
Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't have a chance to. Uh, I was I was at uh, I was in the office when I. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, when I saw it, I didn't have a chance to go listen to it. Thank you for reminding me. I otherwise may have forgotten. How the heck? Oh, there's a ramp over there. I'm, I'm dumb. That's why. Yes, I can jump that with a Pona, but I don't need to. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. I'm gonna have to listen to that after the stream. I'm gonna check now. Whatever. I'm just gonna avoid the deck heights. I don't actually need to bother with them, really. Okay. Oh, but I need to blow that up. Okay. The Gilded Sword now? I know it takes like a full day. I don't think I can do it on this cycle. But do I actually need to clear? I forget if I need to clear Snowfall before I get it. Or um, Snowpoint before I get it. Um, I think I do. I think I do. Gorons should be able to break Snow Boulders easily. Yeah, well, I'm no Goron. I'm just a lad. But I'm a real cool man. Blow stuff up with my face. Mountain Village, just gorgeous. I love the nice snow levels. Snow levels are so peaceful in a kind of spooky way, you know. Whoa! Up here, up here! I'm sorry to bother you from such a high place. But I'm very hungry. I've gotten stuck here. Can I... Yeah? Oh, it's so cold. I'm so very hungry. I don't think I'm going to make it. I just want to eat one more before I die up here. Something tough, hard to chew. I can't forget that flavor. Something tough and hard to chew, huh? Can I throw you a rock? What do I throw? A bomb? Can I throw him a bomb? I'm gonna throw him a bomb. I doubt that it's what he wants, but... Oops. No, 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 Ah! I'm quite thankful, but I cannot eat something like this. Okay, well, it was worth a try. But can I throw you that? I don't see any rocks. Beware deep water. Goron shouldn't play around here. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. 
Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I mean, it's fine. I'm. I can manage. I am Link. I'm all that is. I'm all that is nice and toasty, warm in my warm bloodedness. Uh, but I also can't get out. Oh yeah, there I can. Um. Oh, that's right. I need the lens of truth because I climb up there. Okay, that's right. That's right. That's right. It's all coming back to me. Special rock inside the Goron Shrine. Okay. Uh, so where do I need to go? Not the shrine. Or not the, not Snowhead. I need to go to the Goron Village, which is this way. I think. I think it's this way. Oh! Really? Uh, wait, this is it, right? Goron Village, okay. Where White Wolf is. I can probably just avoid them. I hear Tektites. And I need the Goron Mask to get up there. Almost nighttime. I'm going to avoid the White Wolfos. I don't actually need to fight you. Um, what I do need, though, is to say hello to good, my good old friend, Tinkle. I love my good old friend, Tinkle. Hey there. Oh, uh, sir. Oh, hello, Mr. Barry. We'll buy one of Tingle's maps. Uh, Romani Ranch. I need that. Yippee! Map of Romani Ranch. I could have actually gotten that for cheaper over there, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. I'm inefficient when it comes to Tingle. I like donating to good old Tingle. He needs the money. Uh, I need... Uh, I forget what blows that up, but... Right, whatever, I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to come back here... After clearing Snowfall, or uh, Snowhead, with the Zora Mask, to dive to the bottom of this wee lake. This great lake. Great big, deep, frozen now lake. Because I see there's chests and stuff underneath it. Mm. Goron. Blue. Okay, um, I forget. Where do I need to go? Wee! Ooh, I can do the trade quest. Night. Uh, first stop with the hot springs water. Oh god, that's right. I forgot the whole hot springs thing. Jesus. Hey look, it's Kapara Gabora. Woohoo, we meet again, fairy child. Money. Have my stone statues been of hell? Well, it seems you may have the strength to change the fate of this land as I expected. But the road ahead is even more challenging. Many trials await you. Please watch over these Gorons around you. The land is doomed to be smothered in snow and ice forever. It will become a land where no living thing can survive. Without courage and determination, you surely will collapse from the extreme conditions. But if that courage and determination burns bright within you, that's another story. I'm not being too loud, am I? Frozen Ever Grotto has another spring then. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yes, I will proceed. Woot woot! You child of many strings! Well, perhaps. 
You have enough strength to change the fate of this mountain after all. I shall take to the air now, flying towards that shrine across the way, so follow me. Do not be daunted by appearances, instead let your feelings guide you, and the true path shall open before you. Are you ready? Follow behind me. You know I can't fly, right, Paul? Just, just checking. Hmm. Are these like frozen platforms? No, good, I don't slide. Oh, I do. Jesus, that's great. I'm glad I slide. Oh, God. Yeah, real glad I slide. Thanks. Great. Yes, I'll try again. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, let's go. I'm... This is... Maybe without the bunny hood, this will be easier. Because it's actually spaced properly for normal jumps. Probably why. Yeah, this is helping. I did it! Yay! Hoot hoot! You certainly been assured of your courage and determination. From here on, you must not be fooled by appearances. You must rely on your feelings. Now into the shrine. Something that laid in your quest lies within. Who's that item when returning from here? Okay. Okay. Hey look, I got a bunch of bombs. I bet I'm gonna need them. Or... The bluey? No. Okay. Might as well use bombs. I'm about to get more, so I might as well use them. I did not. Get them. Oh. Die already. of truth case you would see the mysteries that are invisible to the naked eye. I remember this thing. I've used this before. What have we here? The rupees. Alright. Let's go. Darunia. Could it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly can see me, then follow behind me. How much do I need the mask? The, yeah, not the mask, the lens to see him. No, I can see his shadow. I think we're good. I mean, yeah, I could have just gone here, but whatever. At least he doesn't do that annoying, like, follow quest thing where he takes a really weirdly roundabout way. That would be irritating. Hey, look, a wolf post. A white wolf post. Oh, 
Oh, it does follow me along the bridge. Okay, that's great. Yes, you're going to go over there, and I need the mask to see how to climb up. Really? 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 Yeah, okay. Fine. Fine! That's rather unpleasant. I can't grab the ledge. Okay, got it. Got it. Cool. Okay. Neat. Phenomenal. <sighs> I need to jump on the little one. Come on, don't- No! Balls. Oh, okay, I can jump onto that. I can hit the ledge. Great. I can grab on the ledge. Great. Fantastic. All right, let's... There we go. I really should have looked up from the ground first, so I knew which way I was going. Shoot. I did this wrong. I think I got it. I think I remember the right way. Nope, dead end. Another dead end. Yeah, I I remembered to do it when I was halfway up. Because I've I've done this before. I've played this game. I know how it works. Oh no! Frick. To say that one. I'd like to make it to that one. I'd love to make it to that one, but I don't think I can. Are you kidding me? I hate, this. I hate slippery platforming. Who in the world thought slippery platforming was a good game mechanic? Like, who did this? Who's responsible for this? I just want to talk. Angrily talk. But talk, nonetheless. I just want to talk. I'm gonna be mad about it, but I just want to talk. Okay, so it's to the right. Okay, right, left, left, up. Okay. Really? Oh, jeez. I didn't see it right. There we go. Okay. Ah, there we go. Nice. 
Oh, the great work or on hero rounds. I came here to put up the Great Heroes Memorial that the return route has been blocked by snow and I can't get back to Goron Village. And even worse, my brother's been frozen solid from the cold. The way things are looking, I'll be frozen too. Oh, it's times like this that make me wish I had taken some of the hot spring water I found when I was digging the hero's grave. But the hot spring is now covered by a gravestone. I can't move a gravestone that big by myself. I guess this is what's meant by the Goron saying there's no use crying over split rocks. <laughs> Hi there, Darunia. I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna get rid of it, because I need to get rid of it. Might as well. I need the bottle. I need... actually, what I need is more empty bottles. I forget where I find the bastards. Hello. It is written in letters you have never seen before. Yeah, I know. Oh, shoot. What a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away into the song. Now, where is the other hot spring? Because I don't want to have to climb up here every day, every damn time, because that's, that's a huge pain. I assume once I get the Goron Mask, I can open up another hot spring. Lay his spirit to rest. I kind of really love... I've mentioned this before, but I love the magic system of the uh, Song of Healing. That it's a special condition that you can use to break curses and embody them in a mask. I leave my undying feelings with you. Deeds I accomplished while living are carved on my grave. You should read it. Goron Mask. You got the Goron Mask. This mask contains the spirit of a proud Goron hero. Where the mask was see. Blah, blah, blah. The Goron Village, I have asked your assistance. Okay. Well, the prince, you can see this the first time. Riggity. Pearl, punch. Read. Can I read? Yeah. Go on, hero Darmani. Darmani, not Darunia. The third. Darmani the third. In, in honor of a great hero, this memorial is inscribed with the knowledge of the great hero. Uh, no. It's fine. It's, uh, it's basically a tool tip. Oh. Trail of bridges with the wolves. There's a frozen over hole. Go there first. Okay. Hot water. Blue the grave, yeah. yeah. I don't need this for the Goron who's right outside. Okay. You... no! You're not the great Darmani, are you? Yeah. Then... Whose grave was I making? Could you come back to life because it was so warm beneath your grave? Yeah, sure, that's it. Plop. You really look so peaceful. Uh, what have I been doing? Well, you are right, brother. You are frozen, but the great Dormani saved you. The great Dormani? What's with you? Are you half asleep? 
Did you hear this guy? The great Dormani li died long ago and is lying in his gr- Great Dormani! I was shocked too, but somehow it seems the great Dormani isn't dead. Really? With this, a star of hope appears in Goron Village. Great Dormani, please do something about the blizzard blowing in from Snowhead. Also, it will cool down if you take too long. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that I'm aware of, and that I really, really despise. Um, there's a frozen over hole. Uh, so wait, take the... I think, I, I suppose I should take some... Take some, uh, water. To the frozen over hole. Well, good thing that didn't cool off the water. Uh, good thing the spring water is in my nice warm pocket. Oh, jeez. Alright. Um, where's never hole? Like, on the, uh, the one straight ahead of me? I would really hate if falling in the water um, made it so that you, you, you the, the, the spring water pools. That'd be really dumb. I mean, understandable. It would make sense. Oh, that doesn't... I can't break these? Really? I thought I could break these. Okay, I guess I need bombs. I, I take it that did nothing? Go to the keg salesman. Okay. And he's up the slope, right? Do I need water to unfreeze him? I do, right? Okay. Yeah, okay. Thought so. Uh, he's over there. I remember right. Sheesh, I only have five minutes. I can get the powder keg at least, or at least the powder keg license. Um, and then I will... Wait, this isn't the powder keg. Where? Wait, shoot, where? He's in Goron Village, isn't he? Shoot. Okay, my bad. Went the wrong way. Wait. The village is this. Oh, it's the other way. That's the racetrack. I need the powder keg to get to the racetrack. That's why I was mixing it up. Alright, I think I should still be fine getting there. In enough time. Stop chasing me! Get him, wolf! Ah, uh, it's spring water cool. Okay, never mind. Okay, so wait, where is... I need to figure out where Powder Cake Salesman is. Really? Bastard. Uh, where is he? Is it that? Down there? Yeah, it's down there. Okay, okay, I know where I'm talking about. Alright, I know where I'm doing. I know what I'm doing now. I just gotta go do it. I think. Presumably. No. You annoy me. Stupid bullfrogs. Okay. Honestly, the hot spring water is probably a great improvement over blue fire. Um, 
because it's at least neat and thematic and stuff. So that's cool, but, but still, the time limit thing is um, an additional layer of challenge that... I mean... I get it. it it's neat. It's... it's No, stop. Don't do that. Wait, this is it, right? I hope this works. That didn't work. How? What? Okay, uh, how do I do this? Because I can't get up there. Oh, yeah, see, that's, that's real bad. That's not great. That's not great. to like drop it from above or something confused I mean maybe there is but maybe I have to do it as link rather than as gone or as whatever as Human link. Highly unlink, whatever. I'll try it. I gotta go soon. I really do. Um, it's fine. I'll manage. If I'm a little bit after midnight, it's okay. I just don't want to go minutes. I'm gonna try and do this, and then I'm gonna warp to an owl statue and get the heck out. I am low on health. I don't have a fairy. So if I die, I'm, I'm dead. And I haven't saved in a good long while. That's not good. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's actually rather dangerous, the fact that I haven't saved. Nope! No. I don't think I can get the powder keg until I... I think I have to eat Snowfall. Or, uh, snow point. I think. <laughs> Alright, well... For that, I know I need to do the, the thingy. But you know what? I'll just do next time. Um, might as well. What I will do for now... Is just warp back to Clock Town, hit the Owl Statue, and call it a night. Because uh, that's all the time. That's really all the time I got tonight. I am gonna look up uh, and see if there is a way to access the powder keg before beating um, the snow point, but I don't think there is. I don't actually think there is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah true. You need to get fire. You might need to get fire arrows in the snow point couple, So maybe it's that. Maybe it's that. I'll look it up in between now and then. Um, I don't like looking things up for a game like this, but you know, whatever. Whatever. I'll do it. Let's do this. All right. Anyway. It is midnight. It is tomorrow here, at least. So thank you for joining me. That's all the time I got tonight. Thanks again. I had a wonderful time. I hope you did, too. I'll see you guys again next... Uh, should be next Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday is a good time. Uh, should be pretty good for me. So I'll see you guys then. Uh, looking forward to it. Love this game so very much. Uh, so uh, with that, I guess I'll leave you again. So once again, remember, don't be, uh, don't be safe. <laughs> be well. More importantly, be good. Good night, folks.